Instagram Reels, the TikTok of Instagram. I'm sure by now you've seen these strange looking icons on Instagram. Those are Instagram Reels, short videos of between 3 to 15 seconds, recorded with audio or without audio, or if you like, it's just Instagram copying TikTok once again. So how do you use Instagram Reels? So to get Instagram Reels, first of all, make sure you've updated your Instagram app to the latest version. So now when you go to Instagram and then you go to the story section by tapping on the stories icon in the top left side, or simply by swiping right from the home screen or the home feed, you should find that the stories section is a little bit cleaned up. It looks neater and very few options in the menu. And you can open up more options by clicking on this down arrow and you should see a few more options there. But then at the bottom there, you should see live, then story, and then Reels. This is a new feature. Now, Reels is still a very familiar looking video creation page or content creation page for videos specifically. And so there's a menu floating on the left hand side. And the first item there is music, which gives you a catalog of all the music on Instagram that you can use for your Instagram Reel. So simply tap on that music that you want and then scroll and position the music exactly where you want. Because remember, Instagram Reels are only 15 seconds long. And when you're happy, tap on done and your music is ready for your Instagram Reel. Now, the second item on the menu there is speed. And this lets you select at what speed you want your video recorded for your Instagram Reel. And it starts all the way from 0.3x all the way to 3x. But for the sake of this video, I'll just leave it at the normal speed. And the third option on the menu there is effects and filters. And this gives you a whole wide range of filters and effects that you can use for your Instagram Reel. Now, if you scroll all the way to the extreme right hand side, you should find an option there. When you tap on this option, you should see other effects and filters that have been used by other people who have created their real content. And you can choose any like that, for instance. And then if you like that effect, you can tap on try it and that effect will be loaded onto your Instagram reel and you can use that to make your content. Now, the last option there is timer. And this basically lets you select the length of the video you want for your reel. You can choose anything between three seconds probably and up to 15 seconds like I'd mentioned, which is the maximum real video that you can create. So go ahead and set the time you want and then tap on set timer. And just like TikTok, you can start recording your reel by tapping on the record button and you can stop and then change the scenery and continue recording and then stop again and change the scenery again, continue recording. And as you continue adding clips, it's going to show you at the top there the limit so that you know when you're approaching 15 seconds and so that you know when to stop your Instagram reel. And you can review your reels by tapping on this back button at the bottom there and simply tap on each clip just to look at what you've done and how they're going to look in your Instagram reel. Now, unfortunately, you can't delete or edit the clips. You can only delete the last one, which is something I'm sure Instagram will be working on and they're going to push an update very soon to correct that. But for now, you can only delete the last clip of your reel, click on discard, and then add something new if you want to, just as long as you're within the 15 second limit. Now, when you have several clips in the same Instagram reel, you have an extra option of transitions and they call it a line. So this basically lets you make transitions from one clip to another, for instance, if you want to transition from this cup, for instance, to this one, simply continue recording. And that basically makes your transitions from one item to the other in the same Instagram reel a bit smoother without stopping the video all the time. Now, when you're ready to post, simply tap on this forward icon there. Have a look at your Instagram reel. You can scroll through it quickly just to have a quick look at it. And then tap on this forward icon. Give your Instagram reel a caption. And then you can tap on share. And if you wanted to go to Instagram stories, you can simply go ahead and tap on share and it's gonna go to your Instagram stories. But I don't wanna do that now. I just wanna share it and show you how the Instagram reel is gonna look like. And so here's our Instagram reel right into the Instagram feed. And you can tell it's an Instagram reel because it has that reels icon on the bottom left side. Now you can check out all your reels by going to your profile and then tap on the reels icon there and you should see all the reels that you've ever created. Now, since I only have one, that's all I'm gonna see right there. But you can tap on the explore button and that should give you a whole section on reels. So you can tap on that and see reels from popular creators.
some with sound, some with music, some are quiet. It's a whole collection of popular reels. Now, if you see a sound that you like and you want to use in your own Instagram reel, simply tap on the music where it says original audio, tap on that, then tap on use audio, and you can now be able to use that audio in your own reel. If you see something you don't like, tap on the three dot menu right there, and then tap on not interested, and Instagram will hide that post and also hide other posts that look like this and other posts from this creator and other posts that are probably using the same original audio. Basically, Instagram will try its best to hide content that is similar to the one that you don't like so that it doesn't fill your Instagram feed with reels you don't want to see. That's basically Instagram reels. It's still incomplete. There are a couple of things that Instagram needs to improve on, and I'm sure they'll be pushing updates quickly in the next few weeks to try and correct the things that they overlooked and the things we want to see on Instagram Reels. And uh, that's it. Thanks for watching. You can leave your comments and questions down in the comment section below the video. Don't forget to share and subscribe for more tips. Until the next one, my name is Chris, and I'll talk to you guys soon.